What is the true eight year cost of the BMW 530e plug-in hybrid versus the Tesla Model S electric vehicle? I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to CleanerWatt. The first piece of data that we need in order to figure out the true eight year cost is of course the purchase price of each of these vehicles. The Tesla Model S is currently available in one of two variants. The long range plus variation for $74,990 or the performance version for $94,990. When you go to the online configurator it's very straightforward and easy to figure out the price for a Tesla Model S and you can go through the different choices here including the exterior choices where you can choose the wheels or the color of the vehicle. For this comparison we're going to be using the long range plus Model S variant. When it comes to the exterior, we're going to stick with a pearl white multi-coat paint, which is included in this price. And we're also going to stick with the included 19-inch Tempest wheels. You can pay extra for other colors of interior, but for our selection, we'll stick with the Ashwood decor with a black vegan leather interior. For this price comparison, we're also going to just stick with the basic autopilot that's included with the purchase price. We don't need to add full self-driving because BMW does not currently offer that on their vehicles. So with all these options selected, the cash price with the destination and document fee of $1,200 is $76,490. This is the price you'll actually pay for this vehicle. I think it is important also to note that this does include a lot of standard features that would normally be extra in a regular vehicle. This purchase price includes a premium audio system, heated seats, heated steering wheel, wiper blade defrosters, and also washer nozzle heaters, a HEPA air filtration system, satellite maps with live traffic visualization, in-car internet streaming music and media, video streaming, karaoke, an internet browser, music and media, location aware, automatic garage door opener, LED fog lamps, a tinted glass roof, auto dimming, power folding and heated side mirrors, and also wireless phone charging in the center console. When it comes to figuring out the price for the BMW 530e, you can either choose the all wheel drive variant or the rear wheel drive variant. Their all-wheel drive variant is called X-Drive, and that actually compares the best with the Model S because the Model S is an all-wheel drive vehicle. So we're going to start with the 530e X-Drive sedan, which has a starting MSRP of $56,200. To that, we need to add the luxury kit, which gives us leather interior options, and it upgrades from the sports seats to the luxury seats. We also need to add $550 for the mineral white metallic paint, which is very similar to the pearl white multi-coat included in the price of the Model S. We'll stick with the included 18 inch wheels, although they are smaller than what is included in the Model S. We also need to add the convenience package, which includes a satellite radio, the driving assistance plus package, which is as close as we can get to Tesla's basic autopilot, the LED lighting package for the exterior lighting, front and rear heated seats, heated steering wheel, and also a premium audio system. And when you add destination and handling to that cost of $995, that gives us a total MSRP of $64,810. However, unlike Tesla, the price that you see on the website is not necessarily the price that you'll pay. So I went over to truecar.com to see what an equivalent car is actually selling for according to their data. And according to TrueCar, the market average savings is around $4,700 off MSRP for this particular vehicle. If you, so if you take the price that we got for the configured BMW that we built on the website for $64,810, if you subtract this $4,731 from that build price that we got, you get a purchase price estimation of $60,079 for this BMW 530e X-Drive plug-in hybrid. And of course, that compares to the Model S Long Range Plus all-wheel drive for $76,490. So at the time of purchase, the Tesla Model S is more than $16,000 more expensive. But let's dive into the true ownership cost and see if the Model S is actually cheaper in the long run. So now that we've figured out the price for these vehicles, we need to now figure out the fuel economy numbers and see how much it will cost to actually fuel these vehicles. 
So according to fueleconomy.gov, the Long Range Plus Model S has a miles per gallon equivalent of 117. It also has an all battery range of 402 miles. The BMW 530e X-Drive has 19 miles of electric range and 330 miles total range if you include the gas as well. And when you're driving on battery alone, it has a miles per gallon equivalent of 65. And when you're driving with gas, it gets 25 miles per gallon. Also, fueleconomy.gov estimates that the annual energy cost for the Tesla Model S will be around $550, and the annual fuel cost slash energy cost for the BMW 530e will be somewhere around $1,350. So according to this data from fueleconomy.gov, the Tesla Model S will cost less than half to fuel during this 15,000 miles per year. The next big expense that we need to account for is of course, how much does it cost to maintain these vehicles? For all the estimations that we're doing for these vehicles, we're assuming 15,000 miles driven per year for this eight year period of time, which equals a total distance traveled of 120,000 miles. Currently, when you purchase a new BMW, they give you four years or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first, of free zero-cost maintenance. This includes oil changes and other maintenance that needs to be done during this period of time. So when we do our maintenance calculations, we will of course exclude the first four years and 50,000 miles of maintenance costs for the BMW. Nonetheless, after this free maintenance, you'll still need to replace the oil every 10,000 miles. You'll definitely have to replace the tires several times during this 120,000 miles, and most likely also the serpentine belt. The cabin air filter and engine filters will need to be replaced. The transmission fluid will need to be replaced. Every three years, BMW recommends that you replace the brake fluid. The engine coolant will also need to be replaced during this 120,000 miles and most likely you'll need to replace the brake pads at least once but probably twice during this 120,000 miles. The Tesla Model S, like Tesla's other vehicles, requires very little maintenance. However, Tesla does recommend that you bring your car to their service centers every two years or so for basic preventative maintenance services where they can do that work and that costs around $600 per appointment. You'll also need to replace the tires a couple times during this 120,000 miles, and the cabin filter should also be replaced every 24 months or so. Another big piece of data that we need is of course the depreciation percentage or how much resale value does this vehicle lose in eight years of ownership. So in order to figure this out for the BMW, I pulled up data from kellybluebook.com for a 2012 BMW 5 Series Hybrid. That vehicle had a new price of around $62,000, and according to Kelly Blue Book, in very good condition with 120,000 miles, this vehicle has an average private party resale value of around $8,329. This means that in eight years, it has lost 87% of its value. I pulled up the same data for the Tesla Model S, and according to them, the 2012 Tesla Model S with the 85 kilowatt hour battery pack has a private party resale value with 120,000 miles in very good condition of $20,660. It had a new price of around $77,000, so that means in eight years it has lost around 73% of its value. So the last piece of data that we need before we can determine the true ownership cost for this eight years is of course what repairs might need to be done during this period of time and how much will that cost? Now, of course, one of the biggest factors that determines how much you pay out of pocket for repairs for your vehicle during this period of time is of course how much of this time is covered under warranty. Tesla guarantees the battery and powertrain of the Tesla Model S for a period of eight years or 150,000 miles. They also offer a comprehensive vehicle warranty for four years or 50,000 miles. The BMW 530e has a battery warranty of eight years or 80,000 miles, and the powertrain and comprehensive warranty for the BMW is four years or 50,000 miles. So during this eight year period of time, as you can see from these warranties, the Tesla Model S will have a lot better coverage because the most expensive components, the battery and the powertrain will be completely covered. And the only thing you'll have to pay for are other repairs during this time. For the BMW 530e, you'll be on the hook for a lot more repair costs that could potentially pop up. 
So in order to figure out what repair costs might actually pop up when driving the Tesla Model S for 120,000 miles, I pulled up a real world example from Sean Mitchell and his YouTube channel. I'll put a link to this video in the description below if you'd like to watch the full breakdown, but according to him, when it came to the repairs that were needed during 130,000 miles of driving his Tesla Model S, his repair totals came to $5,154.90. So when it comes to our repair cost estimation, we're going to go ahead and use this real world example as our basis. I also wanted to pull up some real world data for the BMW and how much repairs might cost for that. So I found this video from the BMW Fanatics YouTube channel and he had a video called, here's what five years of BMW 335i ownership cost me. In this video, he went on to say that he spent well over $6,000 in repairs during this five year period of time. And some of those repairs, he actually did the labor himself. When you couple that with the Edmonds five year true ownership cost comparison, where they say after five years, they estimate well over $3,000 of repairs. And add to the fact that this BMW 530e does have a turbocharged four cylinder engine. And according to forums that I found talking about BMWs and their turbos, they often go out around 100,000 miles. If you have to replace the turbocharger on your BMW, that according to RepairPal should cost well over $5,000. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that the BMW after eight years and 120,000 miles of ownership, we'll have some substantial repair costs that will pop up. And so I'm going to go with an estimate of around $8,000 of repair cost during this period of time. So now that we have all this data, let's add all the numbers up and see what these vehicles cost for an eight year period of time or 120,000 miles of driving. So for the Tesla Model S Long Range Plus, with a purchase price of $76,490, when you add sales tax, the energy cost, the insurance costs, the financing costs, the maintenance costs, the repairs that might pop up, also the depreciation percentage that we got earlier. That brings us to the grand total of $101,761 or 85 cents per mile during this eight years and 120,000 miles. If you look at those same numbers for the BMW 530e xDrive, you see that when you add sales tax, the fuel costs, the insurance costs, the financing costs, the maintenance costs, the repair costs, and our depreciation estimation, you get a grand total cost of ownership during this eight years, 120,000 miles of $103,198 or 86 cents per mile. So here's how those numbers actually look side by side. So although the Tesla Model S was well over $16,000 more expensive at the time of purchase, when you look at the true eight year ownership cost, it's actually $1,437 less expensive based on our calculations during this period. So as you can see, although the Model S will cost more at the time of purchase, when it comes to the actual true ownership cost during an eight year period of time, it should actually cost less than the BMW. Of course, neither of these vehicles are cheap, nor are they considered economy vehicles. They are both luxury vehicles. But if you're going to put your money towards something, it might as well be a vehicle that actually costs less to maintain. And of course, the Model S does not put out tailpipe emissions. So if you're in the market for a luxury sedan, I would definitely recommend you consider the Model S over the BMW 5 Series. It makes more sense financially, and it also makes more sense for the environment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click that bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that will help other people find the video. And I also wanted to thank these Patreon supporters. They support me every month and help me bring this content to you. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up and how you can support my work, you can find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you so much.